welcome back. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today I am here with a review and swatch and get ready with me on the Butter London Natural Charm Palette. Sorry, I'm just swatching these here for you. I purchased this at Ulta. It was, I guess it must have just been on sale because I got it for like 20 bucks. So I was so worried it was going to go out of stock. So I went ahead and purchased it because I did not want to miss out on this guy. So I got it and I think I want the other one now too. But I went ahead and recorded my first use using this guy. And this is the Butter London Nap. This is the color Natural Charm and it comes in this really pretty package. This black kind of, it's almost got like feathery type stuff here on the front. Um, and these all do come out and you can buy other single shadows and put those in there. So um, this is what it looks like. And I went ahead and did a get ready with me and I got this look. Let me kind of come in close so you can kind of see the look that I got. With this palette, I used every color in the palette um, and these are the swatches. So this is the let's see, top row and this is the bottom three. So as you can see, they're very pigmented so far. I feel like they're really buttery. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video and you will see me using them for the first time. So it's kind of a get ready with me first impressions of the Butter London Natural Charm Palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay guys, we're just, I've already put on my foundation. I've got some lip gloss sinking in, um, highlight, bronzer, blush. Um, I've already primed my eyes with the NYX Proof It and I've already done my brows. So what we're gonna do, everything is gonna be from um, the Natural Charm palette that I just showed you. The only thing I'm gonna use from a different palette is I'm gonna use Foxy from the Naked Originals palette. It is this one here. Um, and I'm just going to, I find that especially even more than that Urban Decay, the um, NYX Proof It, it's, it tends to be a little sticky, but it really does hold your shadow. Um, so I feel like things just don't really blend so well. So I lay this foxy color, it's just a real neutral kind of matte yellowy color. I kind of lay it down um, everywhere from lid to brow, just with the fluffy brush just so that I can blend my shadows in, so that it's it kind of covers up the sticky feeling and so I can blend. So first of all, we're gonna go in with the Natural Charm Palette. Fucking get it open. And yes, you are zoomed in because I want you to see the Get Ready With Me. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is this color down here. Um, I don't see that they have names. Um, if they do, I'll put it all down below. But this color down here, this kind of brown color. I'm just gonna take that with my makeup, I don't know, it brush, it brush, airbrush, it cosmetics airbrush blending crease. Tap that off um, and we'll start here. This is again, like I said in the video before, or the part before this, this is a first impressions. Get ready with me. So we're gonna see what we think. Ooh, that's a nice good color. Nice um, neutral brown. I think I want the other one too, and I guess they were having some special special sale because I saw someone else do a video. I think it was Tara Baby Z. If you guys have never seen her, I'm gonna link her down below because she's freaking amazing. Like you will like drool over her makeup collection for real. And she has it like in these um like tool cases, like these pink like tool cases. Like and she is so much makeup. Like she's like the biggest collection I've ever seen. So um yeah. I think she was doing a video that she got this for $20. So it was during, I guess, a sale they were having. So I was worried this was going out of stock. So that's why I went ahead and got it. But I um, I liked the other colors too. But I thought I would lean more towards these just because they're more, you know, they're more neutral. Kind of more of a neutral look that I would do with the browns. But the other ones are kind of taupes. And so if I end up liking this, which so far I am because this is blending like a dream. Um, I had a little bit, I'm not having any fallout. But I did have a lot of kickback here on the um, actual palette when I, you know, kind of powdery kickback. So, got that in there. Um, now I'm going to take a pencil brush, just a pencil, pencil brush from MAC. And I'm going to go in with this dark brown here. Bottom. Dark brown. I'm just going to kind of stamp that in the middle here. 
well, the edge in the crease, in the middle of the crease, and then kind of go down a bit. And then I'll blend it out with the 217. And we'll see how well that blends. I'm doing this particularly so we can see how well it blends after being stamped down like that. So let's check it out. So anyways, um, the other colors, I really like those too, but I just thought like, oh, this is blending really good, guys. Um, I just thought that this would be something I could wear more every day, but I'm kind of starting to like cool tones and like taupes and stuff too, so I think I need the other one, but I think I'm going to have to save some points because I have so many palettes, I just can't justify spending that amount of money. And I'm going to try to look into the viewfinder here, and I can't really tell. Hopefully it's working. I saw a trick. I've been watching like tutorials and stuff myself and like, cause I think, I think I have hooded eyes. I, I think I do. And I feel like, you know, you can't always see my shadow. So I'm going to try to drag it up a bit so that you can see it with my eye open. And that really, really blended out super, super nice. I'm going to go back in with this fluffy brush and just kind of Go over that to make sure there's no harsh edges and then bring up that brown a little bit higher and this is just I'm going for kind of a I'm gonna do the same on the other other eye guys I'm going for kind of a look that I could wear to work so it's definitely not gonna be crazy and that's another reason I went specifically for this palette it's because these browns and stuff I feel like you can just really wear to work they're neutral, you know, they go with a lot of stuff. Um, but the other palette, gosh, um, I think she got both. I'm not sure if she did swatches or not, but y'all should check out her channel. She did a video here not that long ago, of course. This was probably going to go up like two weeks from when I recorded, so you might check back two weeks ago from today. <laughs> but, um, wow, guys, this is blending great. Now, okay, so these claim, let me just tell you, um, these claim to stay on and have a built-in primer. That's something special, um, but I wear primer with everything, no matter what their claims are, because um, I just, I, I prefer having a primer on. It's blending out super nice, and I like it. I didn't have as much kick up in the dark brown that I did in the um, lighter brown. But they are really buttery. They're blending well. I mean, I guess I can go ahead and um, use this one day without primer. And I'm going with the fluffy brush again just to get any harsh edges. And whatever brown is left on that, just kind of bring it up a little bit. So um, I can wear them without primer to let you guys know how they wear if you're interested. I can do that a day before this video goes up. In fact, I will do that and I'll let you know. Um, and if I forget, comment down below and ask me <laughs> if I forget to put that in the box. Sometimes I forget to put things in the box. I try to write everything down, but I'm only human. Isn't there a song? I'm only human or something like that. I can't sing. Okay, whew, it's getting hot and hurt with all these lights on me. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the crease. I feel like I can see it when my eyes are open. So now I'm going to go in with my um, MAC. I, this number is off, but it's the little flat guy um, that puts shade, you know. And I'm going to go in with this color here, this top kind of light one. And I'm going to highlight under the brow with that, these wonderful brows that I need to pluck because they are due. This is, um, I do like if you don't want to lay a color down like I did beforehand, or really you could lay this color down because it is matte, um, so this would really work just fine. Um, so really, I didn't have to use the Naked Basics. You could use this whole palette for an entire look, um, multiple looks. So you really don't need, it's got a good variety, I think, of matte um, and shimmers. Good neutral tone. I think it's got a good dark color here to darken the crease. Um, these are just my opinions because this is my first time here. Um, this is a good transition shade, transition shade, brow shade. Um, you could use the dark brown to line, the green to line, and these 
two in the middle are great lid shades. Um, so really, or you could do a lot of different things. You could use the green as a lid shade too. So you've got a lot of different options with this palette. Okay, so back to just putting on. I know this is probably weird because like I tried to zoom in so you could get it really up close, but you probably like seeing so much of my face and probably not fitting the whole thing in, but you get the point. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off on my robe that I got on. I think I'm gonna go in with this pink color, this kind of pinky peach color. Get in frame, Tracy, this one here. Um, and we'll see how that looks. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Oh, that's really pretty. I'd have to do some research, but I wonder if you can use these wet or dry because I bet they'd be really pretty, these kind of shimmery ones, wet. Okay, so no fallout. That one's not kicking up too much. Uh, good pigmentation, buttery. Again, the lasting power, I have a primer, so I'm sure they will last, but I will try it without so that I can let you guys know. This is a gorgeous lid color. Wow. I like that. The other one seems like a more bronzy color. I'm sure you saw that in my swatches. I like it so far. Okay, same on the other eye. So, okay, is everybody ready for Christmas yet? Because I'm taping this before Christmas. I hope it goes up before Christmas. Otherwise, I'm saying this for no reason, but I've got a couple more things to get and like the malls are getting horribly crowded. Everything is getting so crowded. I have just, I've got to just go and get it all done. Like, I try to start early, but then I always, like, think of more things I want to get or, you know, something else I want to add to a present. And then I end up at the mall too close to Christmas or somewhere too close to Christmas. And, yeah, it does not work out so well because then it's crazy busy. Okay, I can't get my liner out. Bear with me, guys. I should have had my liner in front of me, but I did not. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with my pencil brush by Makeup Geek, the really, really thin one. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this green, just to give it a pop of green, because I'm gonna be daring. And it's not a real crazy green, but I think it just gives it a good look. And then what I'm going to do for the top to kind of also add the green dimension, I'm going to use my um, kind of green, forest green um, ColourPop gel liner and work out. So that's with the green underneath. You know, you really, unless you look close, you can't tell it's green. And now, okay, this is, like I said, my first time with this. I'm kind of thinking I almost should add some green into the lid somewhere or onto the crease because I'm kind of liking this green. I'm kind of liking it guys. Okay, so let's play around. That's what we're here for, right? We're checking out this palette. We want to use all the colors, so let's just play around. I'm going to dip lightly, very lightly, that 217. And I'm just going to kind of put this on the outer crease area, this green. Oh yeah, that's nice. And I'm just kind of going in really, really lightly. For some added dimension. These are always how I like, end up doing my looks. Does anyone do this where you just kind of keep playing with it and playing with it, next thing you know you've added more and more colors and you're like, what the heck? I always do this when I first get a palette and even after that I just constantly grab it stuff and play with it. Still just blending that green in. And you know on top of these browns it's not like a in your face BAM on green kind of thing you know I mean it, it just looks it looks nice. The colors that are in this palette definitely complement each other. And I gotta tell you, these are blending like a dream. I think I might go into this light one again and just kind of buff everything out. In case I got a little crazy, just lightly. I think I like that. Okay, so 
think I'm, well, you know what, let's, let's use the last color in the palette. We haven't used every color. Let's take this bronze color. Okay, I got the bronze color. I'm just going to dab it right only in the middle here. And you know, I can't really honestly tell with it on top of that other color that's making that much of a difference, but I think by itself it would. I mean, it's got a hint of more gold on the lid, but over that peach color, I just... I don't know. But, I like it, guys. Okay, so thoughts on the palette. It's great. I'm going to try it without primer, like I've said five freaking times already, or more, but, um, and see how long it lasts, but I really like that touch of green, and, like, I'm really going out of my comfort zone with that, but I'm really liking it, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get my eyeliner on and um, pop some lipstick on and get on with my day. Oh, fix my hair, get dressed, everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the final look that you saw in the beginning when I recorded the swatches. So yeah, that's how I got it. I'll list everything down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!